Hi guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to be talking to you about the new tent specialist, the Blackjack. Now you might be seeing the title, How Can I Get the New Tent Specialist? And I'm going to be telling you exactly how you can or how I think you can actually get it. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to be releasing it in supply drops. So you're going to have to earn a few crypto keys to get it and that might take you a couple years to be honest or unless you want to spend a couple thousand dollars on um, supply drops then you might just get it but even then you're not guaranteed it which I think is completely unfair I think there should be a whole new supply drop um, that guarantees you DLC weapons and you can only open them on the weekend of the launch of the new DLC weapons and you should be able to use crypto keys and actual money just in case someone can't be bothered to earn the crypto keys. Now, I think that would be fair. Like, I wouldn't mind if they kept on adding new stuff and were trying to get you to do it every weekend it came out. Because at least you're getting a chance of getting it because you will be guaranteed an actual supply drop weapon. Now, I don't know how they might price that. They might just go stupid and spend like say you have to pay $50 or $60 for one supply drop now that would just be completely stupid no one would in their right fucking mind would do that now I don't know why they keep on adding it well I do know why they just want money because it's a business and they're trying to earn the maximum profits it's not active no it's not Treyarch's fault it's Activision that's telling them and driving them saying we did this in advanced warfare we got all this money from it you need to do it to then get all this money too because we need more money from you guys now we don't like that when they started off doing the reskins <clears throat> Sorry, when they started off doing the reskins of the melee weapons, they that was that wasn't a problem because it was just a reskin of a knife and it was exactly the same as someone having a knife in their hand, but it just made it a little bit cooler and more fun. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind when I died by a baseball bat or something because I found it kind of funny and the sound effects and stuff. But now they're adding new weapons, which is kind of like Advanced Warfare. And that's why people did not like Advanced Warfare. Could they not understand that? No one liked Advanced Warfare or Ghost because there were variants of guns and all of that. But at least in Ghost and Black Ops 2 before, you could actually buy that gun. So when the Peacekeeper came out, you could buy it. It came in the DLC with the Season Pass. That's what they need to go back to. They need to go back to season pass holders or just stuff like that. Not so you can't just buy it. You should just be able to buy it because it was only £4 or something to buy a gun in Ghost. I can't remember what it was called, but it was a pretty good gun. And the Peacekeeper, all you need to do is download one of the DLCs and you would get the Peacekeeper. And that was a fairly average gun. Most people had it, but it wasn't too overpowered. Now, the guns that are coming out now are awesome. Like, they're good, but they give an advantage over someone that doesn't have it, which I think is unfair because it's basically pay to play. So, let me know what you guys think of the new Blackjack as well because I think the Blackjack is pretty unfair too because you're just giving someone that doesn't have a Blackjack to the access to not having all of the specialists in one game because the person with the blackjack will be able to get every single specialist as long as they take it from someone and use it against you which is just an advantage a complete advantage over someone that doesn't have it and what happens when a new like a player that's actually good at the game and say I'm not the best Call of Duty player but I'm not bad but what happens when someone amazing comes up against me and they've got that and I don't what am I gonna do because I'm nowhere near as good as them before they had it and now they have it they're like three times as good as me so let me know what you guys think about the new tent specialist and the new weapons that are coming into the game and just stuff like that because I've heard the PDW is going to be coming into the game too um, which I think is kind of cool because it wasn't a Black Ops 2 um, which I don't mind so much because it's the actual Black Ops 2 weapons but when they're bringing in new weapons like 
um, the crossbows and stuff like that, I don't really like that um, because they are pretty overpowered. Anyway, I know I've said this before, but let me know what you guys um, think about it in the comments below. Let me know how you think they're going to be available to us and just stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya!